This is an example of the use of at-risk automation features applied to cost risk analysis. In this application, the user creates the cost structure of the project and provides a three-point estimate for each cost item as a way to recognize uncertainty in cost elements. The second step is to model correlations among cost distributions. The last step lets the user define external risk events that affect the total cost of the project. Once the user adds the information, at risk will run a simulation and present results. As we said earlier, the first step is to create the cost structure model. Here the user will add the cost elements and select the appropriate distribution. In this application, we have three options to capture the three-point estimates given by an expert. These three options are the triangular, the trigen, and the PERT distributions. As an example, we are going to add a sixth item into the cost structure. We will use a most likely cost of $2,000 and 15% reduction and 20% increase for the minimum and maximum of the range. Using the Next Step button, we will be given the option of defining a correlation matrix. In this screen, the correlation matrix was automatically generated. Now, the user needs to define the corresponding correlation coefficients. For example, here, we will add a correlation between item 1 and item 2 of 0 0.3. By default, the matrix is filled up with zeros. That means that those distributions are independent from each other. We will add a few coefficients here to demonstrate the concept. Once the correlation matrix is ready, we click on the Next button. The next step allows the creation of a risk register. The application uses an internal database of risk events. These risk events are organized in categories. Here the user will select which risk events affect the project. The next step is to define the parameters of each risk event. The user will define the probability of each risk event's occurrence and its impact. Once all risk events are defined, we can proceed to simulate the model. At this moment, the application has internally written a simulation model that will be used by at risk. As soon as this simulation finishes, a report will be generated. In this report, we can observe the following statistics. Expected cost, most likely cost, the 10th and 90th cost percentiles, and the contingency needed at a certain confidence level. In this example, we can see that the expected cost of a project is around $10,700, and that the contingency at the 80% confidence level is around $950. We can also observe the resulting distributions for the total cost of the project and the one that results from external events. Also, we can see the key drivers that affect cost variation. This model can be extended to accommodate your particular requirements. Feel free to contact your sales representative for more information about custom services.